good everybody, it's your boy Moski, back with another video. Today's video is a reaction video to Cody Rhodes wants to avenge Randy Orton. I cannot wait to get into this video, especially what happened last week on Friday Night Smackdown where Kevin Owens, he went rogue where he hit a legal wrestling move that hasn't been used in over a decade in WWE was the pile driver and we all know how Randy Orton has all those back issues and neck issues on his body and Kevin Owens decided to hit a move that will freaking put him in the stretcher and what he do that's what he exactly what he did put Randy Orton in the stretcher and Cody Rhodes went to the ambulance with Randy Orton so I know Cody Rhodes has a lot to say and I'm very curious what is he going to do to get his payback on Kevin Owens? But before we even get to the video, please make sure to please drop a like, comment, subscribe, post notifications, get all my videos up to date. Without further ado, let's get straight to this reaction. All right, here we go. Kevin Owens. You have crossed quite the line. I know you are back there. Would you please come out here right now? Yeah, Cody Rhodes, he wants to re get revenge for Randy Orton. Especially doing that move on him. Pile driver, that's illegal to do in WWE. Aw, oh, bruh. Kevin Owens! 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 Oh, that's Nick Aldis. Okay. So, what does he have to say? Cody, I know you're angry. I'm angry. We're all angry, okay? I put <laughs> Randy Orton, one of the greatest of all time, laid up with severe cervical trauma after he was gone for like a year and a half, having his back fused together. Okay? I understand that this is a very different situation. Kevin Owens used a pile driver mm -hmm. yeah a pile driver there's a reason why that move is outlawed in this company because we don't want this generation ending up in wheelchairs in 20 years okay <laughs> no one knows better than me how long it takes to make it to this company cody but you know i know yeah we do whatever it takes to make the big paydays, to win the championships, but we don't cross that line. And Kevin crossed that line, and that's all there is to it. So, the fact of the matter is, until we figure this thing out, I can't have him here. Ah, uh, so now he's not even in the building. Cody's like, of course. <laughs> like, come on, man. You are making a martyr of Kevin Owens. You're giving him exactly what he wants. You're, you're hitting him in his wallet. This is a man who drives a Lamborghini. I don't know if the message is going to land like you think. Let me handle this, Nick. Let me handle this. Kevin Owens is self-righteous. Kevin Owens is indignant. Kevin Owens is fair as oh, In short, Kevin Owens is an ass. <laughs> I'm going to stop you there before you say something you regret. <laughs> you think this is about money? I know it's not about money. This is about the roster knowing that I know if you give them an inch, they take a mile. Yeah? And next thing you know, the inmates are running the asylum. So here's how it goes. He can't be here until this situation is resolved internally. Ah. Oh. Oh, Cody Rhodes, he ain't gonna take it like that. He's not gonna accept it. Internally. Be, be real for me for a second. I, I, I know that in your role you, you have to be objective. You have to be dispassionate. But I also know what's under that jacket. I know you're a former wrestler. You're still a wrestler. I know mm. that you're a good man too. 
So put yourself in my shoes for just a second. Imagine you were in the back of that ambulance. Imagine you had to be the one to call his wife, to call his loved ones. Imagine you being the one saying, I don't know if his neck is broken. Imagine when they ask the question, why? that you have to tell him, well, Kevin Owens is telling everybody under the sun, it's because of me. Damn. WrestleMania 40 <clears throat> is the highlight of my life, professionally and personally. You know a moment that happened in that ring? I was on Randy Orton's shoulders. I dropped down to the mat. He looked me in the eyes and he said, Hey, Code Man, I'm proud of you. Mm. And as much as I loathe the nickname Code Man, it's a moment that I will cherish forever because that's what Randy Orton means to me. So now he's been put on the shelf, time taken away from him, time he might not have had, and again, that's because, that's because of me? That's Cody's mentor, man. He looks up to Randy. If I can't handle my business in a WWE ring, what do you expect me to do? You want me to buy a ticket? You want me to go to his house? You want me to oh, lock shit. the door? You want me to beat his ass? <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> about to see someone of a heel Cody go to his house, beat his ass? <laughs> that is not what you want from this company's champion. I know that is not how you want me representing this brand, but Nick, this ball is in your court. And I won't be waiting very long. Mm. Oh, shit. If Nick Aldis doesn't make a move, Cody Rhodes... Oh. You know, um, it's getting harder and harder to do my job. Because I keep suffering consequences for things that are <clears throat> absolutely not my fault. I showed up to the arena in Milwaukee earlier, and I was turned away. I was told that I'm not welcome and that I have to leave. Because of what I did to Randy Orton last week. But what I did to Randy Orton last week was I did my job. This guy. <laughs> See, because I made it clear before Crown Jewel that I didn't want to fight Randy Orton. I didn't want to hurt Randy Orton. And then Randy went to WWE officials. He went to Triple H himself and demanded a match with me. He and he did. got what he wanted. I showed up at Crown Jewel like I was asked and did my job. I actually, I did exactly what they knew was going to happen. I did precisely what Triple H tried to warn Randy Orton of. And again, last week, all I did was do what they asked me to do. Because Randy showed up, called me out to the ring, and then I showed up. And now I'm in trouble because I put Randy Orton on the shelf. That is absolute nonsense. It's not fair. But guess what the best part is? Just now, a few minutes ago, I got a call from Nick Aldis asking me to be at SmackDown in Salt Lake City next Friday. And why? Because the little golden boy, Cody Rhodes, wants me there. <laughs> oh, my God, Cody wants me there. I have to be there, right? And this is not Cody Rhodes. But you know what, Cody? <laughs> I shouldn't show up. But I will. I'll be there. Not for you. Not, not for Nick Aldis. Not even for WWE because they hardly deserve me at this point. I'm going to show up next week for myself. Because I happen to love Utah, the mountains, the fresh air, all that stuff. It's good for me. But everyone needs to remember one thing. When I show up next Friday, I'm just doing what you all want me to do. Uh-oh, what does that mean? I'm just doing my job. Now that's it. Okay, so... What does he mean he's doing his job? Is he going to try to do the same thing to Cody Rhodes? Try to injure him as well? And do the pile driver? I don't know, but hey, there's a couple people that believe that Kevin Owens is in the right because of what he went through in the past of the bloodline and everything. And people are saying, no, he's in the wrong because he did this to, you know, Randy Orton for, you know, hitting him and everything. So it goes both ways <laughs> and it all started when cody Rhodes decided to team up with roman reigns to go against solo's team so very curious what's gonna happen next week and i don't know we'll see what kevin owens is gonna do on friday night smackdown <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed my reaction please drop a like
comment, subscribe, post notifications, get all my videos up to date. See you in the next video, and peace.